And voila! <laughs> it's like a work of art, man. Oh, oh. May the hungriest dude win. <laughs> Come on, can you give me a hand? Coming, Fred. I'll even give you two hands. Oh, oops. Like that's it. I'm out of here. <sighs> me too. Like I am done with other people's mysteries. From now on, it's you and me, Scoob, hunting down the biggest mystery of all. Hello? Yeah, the mysterious sounds coming from my empty stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Like you smell that? Let's go, Scoob! Uh -huh. Oh man! Like you smell that? Uh -huh. Let's go, Scoob! I could grapple. Oh man, it smells like tacos. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Now it's lasagna. Hot dog? You're right, Scoob. It smells like hot dogs with onions and fudge sauce. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I know, Scoob. I'm scared too. But like it smells like all of our favorite foods wrapped in one humongous burrito. <laughs> So good. This too? I'm making it for you, boys. For us? Like, do you know us? Of course. Why else would I be making this incredibly delicious concoction? <laughs> she definitely knows us. <laughs> so, like, serve it up then. Patience, Shaggy. It's not finished. Not finished? No, Scooby. It is missing some very important ingredients. Special ingredients. Well, <laughs> we just happen to be mystery solvers specializing in finding missing ingredients. <laughs> in order to find these particular ingredients, you must prove yourselves first. Head to the dojo. There will be a beast there. Defeat it. Then we will talk. Can't we just get them from the market? Get to the dojo and complete my challenge before you return. But man, how does she know our names? Mm -hmm. Concoction. Yeah, you're right, Scoob. Food first, questions later. <laughs> Some stew, man. Oh, well. So, like, we hopped over to the dojo. Very good. So, like, when do we get to eat? <laughs> it's almost time for pre supper supper. Patience, soon. First, more ingredients. You must travel to the desert town of El Muncho and. 
El Mancho? Far from here, but you can take your mystery machine, and I will instruct you with my radio when you arrive. You must not tell the others. Here, you'll be needing this. Now, please, you must leave me. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. You give us a camera and offer us food? What are you, like Santa Claus? <laughs> no, no, I am Lila, and I have lived in this swamp my whole life. I was born to a traveling family, and they left me behind. Like, why did you have to stay here? I cannot tell you, but I must never leave this swamp. Well, sure you can. Come take a ride to El Muncho in the mystery machine. I warn you, do not tempt me. You endanger us all. I can feel it. You must leave, now. Like, how are we gonna get the rest of the gang to go to El Muncho? I don't know. Any ideas yet, Scoob? Like, I'm fresh out, man. <laughs> Me too. That's it, I guess. Cause I got nothing. Hmm, yep. Yeah. Like that stew smells so good, man. <laughs> and we won't have any unless we go to El Muncho. Jinkies, <laughs> a holiday? <laughs> we can squeeze that into our schedule. Bye. Who was that, Velma? Costington. Jeepers, we haven't seen him since the food festival. I'll go grab the guys. <laughs> hey guys, can we talk for a second? Why don't you head around to the back of the mystery machine and use the road map to show Fred where to go? Yeah, I don't know, Shaggy. You can't just go wandering around when we get there. We're seeing Costington. Oh. Yeah, what's so important anyway? You've never even been here before. What? <laughs> isn't the definition of ghost town. What's going on here? Where is everyone? Hmm, that's a bit strange. Like, I've got the creeps, man! <laughs> <laughs> Hold it right there, troublemakers! <sighs> oh, Velma, any ideas? Still thinking. Who's that in the other cell? Looks like a local. He's got to know something. Hola, senors. I am Esteban. I do not know why I'm here. Maybe I was bad. I don't know. I can't remember being naughty. You see, the sheriff, he is loco. Like, you mean he's crazy? Si, loco. I cannot even remember how long I've been in here for. Like, oh. dude, that long? Si. Two days is a long time, but the sheriff, he is a funny one. I thought you said he was more the crazy type. See, crazy funny. If he gets too crazy, he falls asleep. <laughs> it is funny. Like, man, I think this whole place is a bit funny. <laughs> I have a plan. Hey, you. You can't just lock us up for no reason, you know. Yeah, man. Like, we're only tourists. <laughs> You see my badge? I'm the law in these parts. Plus, I know you're the ones causing all the trouble around here. And you call yourselves El Scariachi. El Scariachi? We're Mystery Inc. And if you're the sheriff, where's your deputy? 
I ask the questions around here. You do look like you could use a hand. <laughs> Me? The sheriff? I don't need any help, and I certainly don't need you questioning my authority. You don't look like much of a sheriff. Yeah, like I'm more scared of hunger pains. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, you... you troublemakers. I'm the best sheriff this town has ever seen. Why, I ought to... I ought to... <laughs> Way to go, gang. See, I told you. Hey, Shaggy. Now's our chance. Why don't you and Scooby look for a way out? All right, Scooby-Doo, it's up to us. Let's break out of this lunchless prison. Okay. Like, I don't know who this El Scariachi guy that the... ...have mentioned. Oh, boy. You smell that, Scooby-Doo? Hamburgers? Freedom, man. The sweet smell of... Yeah, hamburgers. It looks like the way is blocked, my boys. You will need the help of your friends if you wish to open this gate. Fred is back in the alley. Hey, Shaggy, over here, in the wind. The sheriff is mumbling in his sleep something about explosives. Might help us get out of here. Why don't you sneak around and record him? Yep. All right, Scooby-Doo, time to record this shabby sheriff. Need more gunpowder. If there's one thing I love this. For guys dressed like mariachis, they weren't too merry at all. <laughs> Sheriff is gone. <laughs> 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 Hi, caramba. That was amazing. Trippy colors, man. Nothing like a good meal after a show. Let's get to Costington's. Thank <laughs> you. 
Costington. Hmm. I wonder what he's been up to since the mystery of Keystone Castle. It sure has been a while. Something tells me he moved here for a reason. I think this place is... But this is what I... Who is it? Hey! Mystery Inc! What an unpleasant, <laughs> unexpected surprise! Surprise? What do you mean? We left as soon as we hung up the phone. So? What is this nonsense? I don't have a phone installed yet. Oh well, come inside. <laughs> Good day. I expect you're here to solve this confounding mystery. This place has been stocked by strange things ever since I found the... You've almost spilt the beans there. Ever since that wretched harmonica could be heard. Go on. It always seems to start in the cemetery. And then El Scariachi, the zombie king, and his bandito fellows appeared to terrorize the town. I had Romero, my butler, lock the cemetery some time ago. He still has the key. You can find him inside. Mary, I have this job. Ay, 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 help! Oh. Mm, well, this my place. Uh, 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 uh. Oh man, we've got more brides than we can shake a broom at. Let's clear them out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was done for. There are still more of those zombie brides in the rooms on this floor. Can you clear them out for Costington? I am no match for them. Just my I am 
Gracias. I had feared for the worse. You want me to open the cemetery? Hmm. Can I ask you a favor? Sure can. Ah, this is a good partnership. I will open the cemetery for you. If you could help me get my instrument back. Gosdington hid it from me. I saw him put it in the reading room somewhere. You can find it on the second floor. I've got a feeling that reading room will be more than it seems. Let's investigate. Hmm, it appears that all these shelves are missing books. <laughs> I think I know where this goes. Reading room, anyone? Not a machine in the world that I can't handle. Mm. Mm. Oh, looks like two more to go. for books, dude, is like right back on the shelf. Yes. 
the cemetery path for you. But first... Oh, my. Can you take a photo of me and my harmonica? Happy memories! <laughs> this is a happy moment. Please, take my... Bueno, bueno, gracias! Head to the cemetery path gate. I will meet you there. Search the cemetery. You are so brave. like the one in jail. You there! What are you doing here? This area is for gravekeepers only. Me and my brother. Hi there. So, you want to get into the new cemetery, huh? My less intelligent brother has the second key to open the gate, but this stupid clown has let that local sheriff lock him up. Help me break him out of jail and I might help you. For sure, man. Good. I hear a pipe and my tunnel has flooded with water. Fetch me the valve handle from the old cemetery further along this path, and be quick about it. The old cemetery is close by. Scooby and Shaggy will have to do this one on their own. All right, Scooby, do back on track. Let's f- Oh, man! Like I know that smell! Like you gotta get close- Hey, Scoop! Like that looks like the valve handle! Let's get cozy with these things! Could have regrown my beard since you guys left. Here, take this key and find yourself a way out. All right, Scoop. Let's see if this delicious smell knows a way out of here. <laughs> Man, like check out Lila's pad. The only thing that echoes more than this is my empty stomach. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, be cool, dude. Oh. 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 
Hey hey guys, I found a scrap. There's a scrap. Trident chilies of El Moncho. So hot, they say you need three tongues to handle them. They're some of the rarest in the world. We'll find them at the top of the cemetery, inside the mausoleum. If they are still All right, Scoob, you heard her. Let's get out of here. Scooby, go. Man, like my very own 
sheriff's badge. I ride. Sorry. Oh man, like we're supposed to be helping Emilio. Let's head back, man. My lazy brother needs to get back to work. Turn that handle. You must do one more thing, see? Make sure no one goes near our shack. Including you, comprende? Great! Looks like we can get on the roof now. We've got a mystery to solve. and see what we can do. Somebody come and break us out of the jail! We tried once, but we failed! He's here? We don't need help. We don't? Oh, man. Emilio came to free me, but that crooked sheriff busted me, and here I am. See? But now we have just decided to stay in here. Our crummy shack can rust away for all I care. Listen. What is that racket? The broken bell. It is ringing. Look, he's at the clock tower, dude. Let's go.
How about you first? Sounds like he's leaving the clock tower. Ink. I am uh, just admiring this Man, Romero! <laughs> what? You can't blame him if he is a zombie king. I've always wanted to eat like one. And dude, that guy can play the harmonica. Busted! Where'd he go? Let's totally hide behind those stalls and see if he comes back. There he is. He just came out of that building. We didn't lose him. Keep your eyes peeled in case he disappears again. That's strange. He just entered the Undertaker's. Let's go check it out. Okay, okay, I am here. Oh my god! Sweets! Protect me! Good afternoon. You are back again? That sheriff? We do not like him. Or Costington. He makes us tired. All because of the oil he found under the old cemetery. Everyone wanted him out, so they started protesting against him. But then everyone disappeared. You should talk to him. Here, we will help you escape with us. Jess, now let's get out of here. Come see us at the cemetery after you go speak to Costington. Why Costington didn't tell us about the oil? Let's go ask him. Oh, get 
out of here. Talk to Costington. We will meet you by the new cemetery in a little while. Go. Concerned. This is about the oil, isn't it? I knew I said too much earlier. Well, I found some oil and might have planned to drill in the cemetery. The people in the town didn't like that. But now, they have all disappeared. It just can't be. But this hardly incriminates me. Have you seen all the crude graffiti around? I'm the victim here. I mean... Perhaps I was being too greedy. The gold I received from Keystone seems to have planted a greed seed in my belly. Yup. But you surely can't think it is I causing all of this. After all, I once fought El Scariocci. Oh, truth be known, Romero interrupted our little scuffle and saved me. Please, search my mansion for clues to his whereabouts. Like, let's look around the mansion for some food. <laughs> I mean, um, clues to where Romero went.
map should be enough for Costington to figure out where Romero went. Well, this certainly seems to point to where Romero is. But which location do you think he is at? It looks like Romero is cowering, <coughs> hiding in the new cemetery. Talk to him, and you will see I'm the victim here. Take it easy. Yikes! Oh, did he say new cemetery? Oh, boy. Open the gate for you. Thanks for dragging us out here. Okay, like it looks like this door is missing some things. Ah! 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 
Someone has been watching. Okay? Well, it looks like. Alright, man! Let's go get those shades! Hey, uh, I mean, we need to go to the mausoleum! You see, my brother? He wasn't here when I realized he was gone. You find him in the mausoleum! I cannot go in there. I have already used one pair of pants this month. Uncovered my masterful disguise. You like? I will be undetectable to the human eye. Zombies? Well, I don't think the fancy frogs. <laughs> I am impervious to the zombies. Now, you two go. I have froggy business to take care of. Looks like someone knew we were coming. Keep on your guard. Wow, like groovy, man. I love shows. Do you think some?
Time to see who's really causing trouble around here. The Sheriff! We have been looking for this man. We? Just what is going on here? Forgive me. I am from the Bureau of Undercover Tactics and Ludicrous Espionage Response. Otherwise known as... Butler. I am a spy. A spy? Oh dear. Yes, because of your love of oil, you were our prime suspect. No outsiders getting their hands on my oil. But after helping Costington move in, I knew he had no time to construct the giant puppet you defeated. So the sheriff wanted the oil? You bet he did. He dressed up the old Day of the Dead mascot in an attempt to scare Costington away. You mean El Scariachi? <laughs> Looks like he scared more than he bargained for. Like the whole town left. See? Costington turned out to be tougher than the sheriff thought. He didn't leave. So he had no choice but to keep the show rolling. Well, then he threw us in jail and tried to blame us. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, it seems like the curtains closed on this case. <laughs> yum, yum. Scooby dooby doo! We've all got stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, sure do. <laughs> <laughs> you boys are up to something. I know it. <laughs> well, boys will be boys. <laughs>
character changes. It's like every meal at once. Truly? Got it right here, dude. Shaggy, Scooby, I've been waiting for you. Do you have that which I seek? Yep. Here you go. One chili as ordered. But like, can we eat it instead? <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I'm surprised you made it back so soon. Not as surprised as my mouth's gonna be when I get some of that stew. Huh? Oh. Easy. It is not ready yet. Oh, man. Like, it may not be ready, but my stomach sure is. It needs more... More what? Ingredients? <laughs> you, both of you, need to fetch me something else. But before that... Oh, man. Before I tell you where you must go, you must place my chickens back in their coop. Oh man, are we talking about live chickens or fried chickens? Please, continue down the patch you came. You will see. I need to concentrate now. Please, do not be disheartened. Put my chickens back in their coop. I need time to concentrate. Like something doesn't add up here, dude. Maybe we're being used. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Scoop. I gotta get my priorities straight. <laughs> metabolism going yeah. is it ready oh please please tell me it's ready yeah, yeah, yeah. the chickens were at test like the dojo i still need one more day but like do not give up on me i've never been so close to a stew to releasing the darkness in my heart that keeps me trapped darkness huh so like you really can't leave the swamp no i cannot no more questions. With every question, I can feel it growing stronger. I'm close to losing control of it. It? Boop. <laughs> I don't think I want to know what it is. Right, Scoob? Uh -huh. Just do what I ask and you will have your food. It's cool. We don't want to rain on your witch parade, so just, just tell us how to get fed. <laughs> Head to Howling Peaks. I will contact you as before. Take this. It will aid you. Now go.
right, Scoob. Time to face the music. So get your mittens on and bring the gang to love Anna. So how about it, gang? What do you say we go visit Anna and have a real break? Yes. <laughs> More like that worked out, Scoob. What worked out? You two are awfully excited. <laughs> we're uh, we're always excited. <laughs> hmm. It's settled then. We're off to Howling Peak for a real break. Great. Uh -huh. Howling Peaks. If you forget how to get there, contact me. Gee, we haven't seen Anna in ages. Yeah. Are you excited, Daphne? Definitely. I haven't seen her since she moved up here after the Phantom fiasco. <laughs> I would rather visit your cousin than the Phantom any day. <laughs> oh, please tell me that was the engine. the van here. Are you okay? Well, I do. That was a close call. <laughs> Anyways, we came as soon as Daph got your letter. You okay? But the mail has been out of service for weeks. It doesn't matter. As long as you're okay. You sure have come at a strange time. Things have been quite dangerous around here lately. You all look freezing. Head to Moose's shop, just here to the right, and he'll suit you up. <sighs> He's dreamy. I'll radio ahead so he knows you're coming. Like, peace out. Yeah, man. Like, I'm almost a popsicle. <laughs> like, where are you? Oh, man. Like, I think this is Moose's shop. Let's get inside before I become a pop. Thanks, Moose. No problem, babe. Hey, little dudes. Hey, guys. Welcome to my shop. Take some time to wander around and check it out. When you're ready, I've hooked up some fat gear for you. It's over near the changing rooms. Hit it up. Go and gear up, guys. Cruise back. Whoa! You guys look sick! I definitely know my stuff, man. You came at the best time, yo. All the tourists have been scared away. Right. Although the runs aren't very good now. Yeah, since all the snow machines have disappeared, that's a real shame. Cruise up to Chalet and see Anna. What a cool chick. She just gave me the raddest key ring out of the blue. Later, guys. Maybe I'll see you cruising down the mountain. Hey, guys. Come up to the Chalet and get out of that blizzard. All righty. Let's go check out the buffet. I mean, Chalet. Look great. How is Moose? Did he say anything about the key ring? Oh, I hope he likes it. Looks like the radios are working too, which is great. You never know when you'll run into trouble here. If the weather wasn't bad enough, now there's something lurking around out there, and all of our snow machines have disappeared. Mm -hmm. The upside is there's no tourists. <laughs> I had some lift tickets here for you, but they've gone missing, like everything else around here. Sergio, my manager, might have some. But he ran off crying like a baby. With some detective work, you might be able to find him. <sighs> He's such a wimp. Use your magnifying glass and see if you can find him. That big baby will be hiding somewhere. <laughs>
Eggman in Beast Out. <laughs> Hopefully Sergio can totally let us in. <laughs> Why, dude, I... Hello, hello. Oh, whatever you do, don't take my fire. It's keeping those little terrors away. Hello? Uh, I'm not leaving this room, so don't even try and make me. Uh, how about we make a deal, eh? For sure, man. Look, look, look. All I have is this key to the cabin out there. Uh, you know, the one with the footprints. I will trade it for some supplies. I'm running low in here. Uh, first up, find me some fresh tissues. I'm so plucked up. Can't sneeze at that deal, man. <laughs> Let's find those tissues. to Sergio, and like tears, prepare yourselves to be wiped out! <laughs> oh, that's better. Thank you, kind stranger. Uh, just one thing. I was using my socks to blow my nose when my tissues ran out, and the floor is... <laughs> Oh, it's awfully cold, so I dare not walk over to my bag to fetch the key, but if you find me a fresh pair of socks, I'll get the key for you. I promise. All right, man. To the laundry. Much better. I've got the key now, but uh, to throw it out to you, well, I, I just don't have the strength. I'm feeling very weak. I think some pumpkin and broccoli soup should give me the strength I need, though. Could you make me some? Eh? You'll find everything you need in the kitchen. Oh, man! How am I gonna make soup for him and not for myself? <laughs> Man, let's eat this. I mean, make this pumpkin and broccoli soup. Oh, thank you. This should keep me going until that pesky yeti leaves the mountain. Here you are, as promised. Man, I hope there's some food in this cabin. I can't believe we gave that soup away. Oh, man, I was hoping this would be the chef's cabin. <laughs> Look at all this stuff on... Wow, look at all this Yeti stuff. Quick, guys, it's not safe out there. Come back to the chalet. Hurry! Zoinks! <laughs> Let's get to the chalet. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> there it is again. Shaggy, Scooby, don't go out there. Yeah, yeah man.
This was gonna be Lylan! Thank you. Yeah, you guy. Yeah, you two. You look like strapping young lads. Don't be shy. What's your names? Never mind. Listen, I need a favor of sorts. Who? Huh? Oh, I can see it in your eyes. You're looking for a crypt. I remember when I was young. Ha! <laughs> Always looking for crypts. Anyway, I've seen a crypt around here. Yeah, in the deep dark forest there's a crypt. Right near the wolves. Pardon the manners. I'm Bazza Buckley at your in service. In service? Wolves? Yeah, in service. Fair's fair, mate. Until you've done something for me, I won't do nothing for you. Anyway, that favor, as you can see, I'm quite busy here. If you could snag me some photos of them wolves, I'll owe you one. And you never know when you might need me, the legend, Bazza Buckley, to give you a hand. Hey, Scoob! Like, do you think that cabin we searched was his? I don't know. Either way, I think we should help him. He, like, looks like he has skills and stuff. Oh, my God. 
Scoob. This place is freakier than a foodless fridge. <laughs> I could and liked it. Could bring the ceiling down with the gas they gave you. But they're mighty tasty. Anyway, meet you back at the chalet. I'll bring my baby. <laughs> Go on, fellas. I'll meet you at the chalet. Sounds like that girl is someone you don't want to keep waiting.
told you guys I'd help out. Plus, it'd be no fun if most of you were locked up. <laughs> anyway, I think that receptionist wants a word. We'd never get out. Listen, why don't you guys... Anyone out there? Someone get down here and help me. Nature called and nature came and now it, it's here! Ah! Oh my, sounds like trouble down at the logging yard. We'll be here all day if we manually search the frequencies. There's a radio room just past Sergio's cabin. That should speed things up. Get in there and use the old radio to reply to Dustin's distress call. He's the logging supervisor down there. Scooby Dooby Doo! Find the radio room. Just past Sergio's cabin. Eh? Oh, man! I uh, have the radio room key for you, eh? <laughs> Can you get me some more soup? Please, please, please. I can't go out there. Okay. Uh, I owe you one. Uh, this time, I'll need beans and broccoli soup. Okay? Beans and broccoli. Now go. But be careful. It's out there somewhere. Oh, man! Beans and broccoli soup? Who is this guy? If it were me, I'd ask for a hot dog with extra mustard! Oh, boy! It smells so good! I'm sure he won't notice if I eat half! It's the spot. Made to perfection. Here is your key, kids. Now, don't forget about me, though, eh? Check up on me, please. Please! Like, <laughs> to the radio room, man! Someone can tell you and help me! Something's counting up my logging yard! Don't just stand there listening to me! Come and help me! Knows where I am. Help! Zoinks! I wouldn't want to be heading down there.
believe that. Anybody there? Uh-huh. Well, what are you waiting for? Don't just stand there. My key is in my office. Go get it and use it to turn on the crane and get me out of here. You heard me. My key is in the office over there. Get going already. doing standing here. I bet you're the ones who nicked all my logging equipment, too. Ah, get out of here! After the beast! It's probably heading for the deep, dark forest. See if you can catch it. Oh, and I'll take my key back, thank you very much. Now scram! I've got secret work to get on with involving that there catapult. So don't touch it! Finally! Yeah, go on! does seem to want us out of here awfully fast. At least he lives up to his name, I guess. <laughs> came through here all right. I saw him. I didn't hide. Nope, not me. Bazza Buckley don't hide from no one. I watched it smash its way into the deep, dark forest. As you can see, though, the entrance is blocked. I found a secret entrance in the base of a tree further into the deep, dark forest, just before the walls. I left some empty bean cans by it. You'll be able to get into the deep, dark forest that way. Probably should have told you that earlier, hey? <laughs> What's that? A secret passage! Cool, man! Oh no! The deep dark forest! That's where the wolves were! <laughs> I... Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, 
dude. It's just like Skeksy. <laughs> <laughs> the lifts on his way up the mountain. Looks like it still works, but I don't think it can hold everyone. Shaggy and Scooby should be able to use it. Okay, Shaggy, Scooby, go ahead. Don't worry, it's more sturdy than it looks.
wolves and all this? It's scary being lunch, dude. I think I'll stay on the eating side of lunch. Well, me too. Hey, where are we? That building looks off. Oh, man. There's no more snowboards. But there's plenty of scraps. Too bad they're not food scraps. Let's get them all and piece them back together. Hey, look out. Oh, solid ground. Like, dude, what is it? Looks like Moose has been hogging them. Anna should see. So, like, what do you think these lift tickets mean? Sure makes Moose look kind of guilty. lift tickets after all? Well, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I don't like that big stinky Baz. I bet he planted them. Please, just have a look around the chalet first. It can't be Moose. So many other things have disappeared too. A lot of our display animal parts have disappeared. Why don't you use your magnifying glass to find out what's missing? Then take some photos of the missing parts and bring them back to me. Then we can look at them together. So please, take a look around the chalet and take photos of any other missing items you can find. You guys better talk to him. Someone has to have planted it. You can find his personal cabin higher up the mountain. There's an entrance through some ice caves in the logging yard. Try that. Like I remember seeing the ice caves in the logging yard, man. Let's get a move on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see if we can use that crane to find another way around. If only... Oh, come on! There's no handouts here! Sure, you may have helped me, but I was the brains of the operation. I'm not the supervisor around here for no reason. And you're not getting your grubby hands on my key. I'm cooking. Now shoot! Hey, look! The key! Maybe we can use this catapult to smoke him out. Looks like this contraption is inoperable. We'll need to find the missing parts. Aha! This part will fit perfectly. We're going to be able to subdue him easily. glass. I wonder if we have to hit them in order. Looks like we figured it out. Let's head inside for some deep investigation.
See, I'm in a bit of an inverse pickle here. The mystery tracker's coming through with the goods, eh? Those dirty little frost dingoes keep attacking me. All I need is some time to get free, and I'll be laughing. Can you keep them off me for a bit? Here come the little critters now. Quick, see those bad What are you talking to me for? Help! Quick, get the barrel down. Focus! <laughs> Operations, but what for? Let's look around. Logger's map? Another vital clue. Looks like we're getting close to the culprits. Ain't here, so unless you're him, you ain't coming in. <laughs> rules is rules, man. Go back to the beginner slopes. <laughs> it's all him, man. He's kind of lucky he didn't invite us in because my food radar is picking up all kinds of food in there. We should totally hide and wait. Whoa! Man, why 
Why do they even call it a stakeout? There's never any steak! Speaking of steaks, I wonder if Moose has any. Let's sneak! So you guys got that down? Think you can remember all that? Hey, we helped you get all the equipment you needed and you didn't catch us, right? Yeah, I guess so. Hey man, where's the key ring Anna gave you? What? Oh man, I don't know. It probably came off during that gnarly run before. <laughs> Do you think she'll notice? Totally. Let's hope not. Anyway, I'm off to the summit to finish my preparations. I'll catch you dudes later. All right, dude. Like, let's have... Oh. Oh.
of that? Yep. Sounds like we're about to solve this mystery. Jeepers, oh. mischievous oh. snowboarders. Let's not forget about the mastermind of this operation. No. Oh, come on, guys. It was just a prank. A very dangerous prank. You and your friends have hurt a lot of people, Moose, Ooh. including me. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Mr. Ink. You guys are 50% better than 100% amazing. Now it all makes sense. You stole the lift tickets to stop people from heading to the summit. Oh, <laughs> dude, you should have used the snow machines to make snow cones instead of the blizzard. And if I know costume making, and I do, this giant yeti was made from all the missing animal parts from the chalet. Yeah, and my precious equipment. Why? Why would you do this? This mountain was ours, man. And so they brought all those tourists along. You wanted to scare everyone off the mountain, so you could have the place to yourself. I could have boarded in peace if it weren't for you meddling dudes and dudettes. Well, I'm sure you'll find a sense of peace when you help fix the damage you've done. Breaker, breaker, Lila, we got the ice cap mushrooms. Over. <laughs> I think you boys can explain that on the way home. <laughs> to come? She told us not to tell you! Like you're endangering the feast! We just want to meet her, that's all. But like, dude, you don't get it. That will mean no feast! Oh! <laughs> I know, Scoob. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Guys? Just going to finish some stuff up here. So you go on ahead. Just be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, watch yourselves, okay? And we'll be there soon. It's like every time I smell it, it gets better. <laughs> Let's just hope she lets us have some. Supper, even without the mushrooms. This is it, Scooby Doo. This time, I can feel it in my nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> So at least we can eat before we're eaten. <laughs> yeah, hurry.
error. Shaggy, please get down here. Hurry up! My dude, I'm coming! But be careful. This swamp is, um, something lives here. Go poo! Something creepy! You mean besides Lila? Yeah, man! <laughs> something big! Like, really big! Okay, we'll be careful. Just get here, quickly! Oh, man! They are here! You're here. Good. This lair's kind of creepy. What type of girls do you boys hang out with? Yeah, okay. Let's check this out. I can't wait to meet our new friend. Friend? I think that's still undecided. Hi, Lila. I'm Fred, and this is the rest of the gang. Daph? Shaggy, Scooby. Did you bring that which I desire? Yeah, like we got it. Scoob? Yup. Here. No! It's addressed to you, Daphne. So get your mitts on and bring the gang to Love Anna. That's creepy. There's a whole bunch of them. Shakies, our phone number is written on this pinup board. There are photos of us too. But why is she so interested in us? I 
thought it was strange when Costington said he didn't have a phone. It looks like Lila made the phone call, pretending to be Costington. Looks like she wrote those, too. <laughs> Wait, please. One second. Nothing is as it seems. I know I look like a crazy witch, but the truth is, I just needed help. Like, why didn't you just ask? I thought you wouldn't believe me. My family moved away long ago, but I had to stay with Suji. She needs food from the swamp, but I've been trying for so long to make something I can take with me, so Suji can come too. And so you had us get what you needed? Yes. Uh, thanks to you and Scooby, Suji and I can finally rejoin with my family. Thank you, all of you. And please, forgive Suji. She's just very protective. Oh, man. Come on! I knew it! Mm. Oh! So, like, does that mean we don't get any food? <laughs> I wouldn't exactly say that. Food! Oh. Oh. Oh, my dude! That's it!